Welcome to this video in which I will explain to you how to solve this past paper question involving connected rates of change. And before we start, as you know, the credit has to go to Cambridge Examinations because this is their question. And you check my website explainingmaths.com where you will find all my other resources for free. So what's going on? It says the volume of a spherical balloon is increasing at a constant rate of 50 centimeter cube per second. So let's write that down in terms of math. So dv dt, yeah, with regards to the time, the volume is changing 50 centimeter cube per second. Great. Find the rate of increase of the radius when the radius is 10. And they give me the formula to find the volume of a sphere. So what is the question? The question is the rate of increase of the radius. So what is dr dt? Yeah, when the radius is 10. Okay. Now, why is this connected rates of change? Because we have to connect two rates of change in order to be able to find dr dt. Now, let's have a look. dr dt. They give us dv dt. So let's write it down. dv dt. There we go. And by what do I have to times dv dt to get dr dt? Well, first of all, the dt is already there, so I should not get another dt in that second fraction, okay? But there's no dv here, so I have to get somehow, I have to get rid of that dv. So by putting it in the denominator in that second fraction, then after the multiplication, you can get rid of that common factor, and then the dv is going to be gone. The dt is there, that's great, but I'm missing a dr. So in that empty space there, I should write down dr. Now, I've connected two rates of change in order to find dr dt. Because, again, after this multiplication, by getting rid of that common factor, I'll be left with dr dt. Now, that's great. dv dt is 50, apparently. There we go. So, we can say 50 times, but now dr dv. I have no idea what it is. However, they give me the volume of a sphere. The volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r to the power 3. So the derivative of that one, dv dr, is 3 times 4 over 3, which is 4 pi r squared. There you go. And they tell me to do it for when the radius is 10. Yeah? So for when the radius is 10, it's going to be 4 pi 10 squared, 100, 400 pi. There we go. So for when the radius is 10, dv dr is 400 pi. But we're not interested in dv dr, we need to know dr dv, which is, as you can see, the reciprocal. It's the reciprocal of dv dr. So I'm not going to multiply 50 by 400 pi, now I'm going to multiply 50 by the reciprocal, so 1 over 400 pi. Pi. There you go. And if you plug it in your calculator properly and you correct it to three significant figures, you're going to get 0 0.0398. And that is your final answer. So connected rates of change, you have to find two rates of change. And by connecting them, you're going to get uh, yeah, uh, the answer to the problem, which is the RDT in this particular case. I hope that was useful. Yeah, like and share if it was. And again, guys, check my website, explainingmaths.com for all my other free resources, including many about uh, differentiation and also some more about connected rates of change. Take care. Bye-bye.